Hi everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on completing Venn diagrams. So how much you're expected to know about Venn diagrams really depends on whether or not you sit in foundation or higher tier but also which exam board you're doing. So if you're doing um, an OCR exam you expect to know different things to if you're doing an Edexcel or an AQA exam. So you really need to check with your teacher what do I need to know about Venn diagrams. But this is something that you need to know no matter which tier you're doing and no matter which exam board. So this question says there are 60 students at a college, 20 students study both French and Spanish, 13 students study French but not Spanish and a total of 43 students study Spanish. Complete the Venn diagram for this information. You're probably already familiar with Venn diagrams so you should know that this section here in the middle will represent the students that study both French and Spanish. This will be our French only students. This will be our Spanish only students. And this out here will be students that study neither French nor Spanish. So I'm gonna go through first and fill in the easiest information. So the first thing they've told me, the 60 students at the college, well that's what all of these four numbers are going to add up to. So I can't do anything with that yet. 20 students study both French and Spanish. So that is the number that I'm going to put in the middle here. That's our French and Spanish. Then it says 13 students study French but not Spanish. So because they're French only, that's going to go into there. And then it says a total of 43 students study Spanish. Now this is all of this circle, all of the students that study Spanish. It doesn't matter if they study French as well or not. It's this entire circle. So if this entire circle adds up to 43, we already have 20 in this section here. This uh, number here must be 43 take away 20, which is 23. Now the final thing I've got to fill in, and students tend to forget this, is this number on the outside. At the minute, these numbers do not add up to 60, and all of my numbers should, and it's because I've got this one on the outside here as well. So these three numbers add up to 46, which means the number here must be 14. So that's the first part done. The next part of the question says, one of the students at the college is to be selected at random. Write down the probability that the student studies neither French nor Spanish. So uh, neither French nor Spanish, it's this here. So I have 14 students. And if, because it's probability, if it was fraction as well, if it was what fraction of students study neither French nor Spanish, it would be 14 out of the total. And the total is 60. So that's 14 out of 60. Now, they've not told me to simplify, so I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to write 14 out of 60. Here's a question for you to try. You can pause the video and then unpause when you're ready to see the solutions. Here's the solution. So this time they've told me that 29 said they watch football but not rugby and that information's actually already filled in for me. Then they say that 65 watch football. Now this is the total of this circle here. So these two numbers add up to 65 which means this in the centre must be 36. And 47 watch rugby. Again that's the entire circle here. So if this is 36 that must be 11 so that they add up to 47 and then the last number on the outside these need to total to 80 so this is 4. The second part of this question was a little bit harder than the last one it says what percentage of these people asked do not watch football or rugby so it's these four here and it's four out of 80. I simplify my fraction to get one out of 20 then to change it into a percentage, I need to make it out of 100. So I've multiplied my top and bottom of my fraction by 5. So then it's 5%. Here's a slightly harder question. This one says, out of 50 people surveyed, 30 have a brother, 25 have a sister, 6 have neither a brother or a sister. Use this information to complete the Venn diagram. So there's only one piece of information they've given me there that I can fill in straight away and that is that six have neither a brother or a sister. 
So I'm going to put the 6 on the outside there. Now whatever my three numbers here are, they must add up to, well, 50 take away my 6 is 44. So those three numbers must add up to 44. If you notice, the two numbers I have here, 30 have a brother and 25 have a sister. 30 add 25, that's 55. So if I put those numbers into my Venn diagram, I'm almost going to go bust. I'm going to go over the 44 that I can put into this Venn diagram. And the reason for this is because this middle section here is getting countered twice within these two numbers. Because this is 30 have a brother, so that's this entire circle. And then 25 have a sister, that's this circle here. So we've included this middle section twice. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our 55, which is our total for both of these circles. And if we take away the 44, which is the maximum that we're allowed to put in, that gives me 11. That 11 is my centre. So that's how we work out the centre. Now we've got 30 people have a brother. So this entire brother circle adds up to 30. So this number here must be 19. And 25 have, have a sister. So this entire circle adds up to 25. So that must be 14. Now we can just double check we've done this right. All of my numbers here should add up to 50. So let's have a look. That's 19, 30, 44, 50. And yes, they do. So I know I've definitely done this right. All of my numbers make sense. Here's a question for you to try. It is one like the last question where you've got to work out what that middle section is, what that overlap is first. It's also harder because they've not given you the Venn diagram. You've got to draw it for yourself and then work it out. And then also they're asking you to find a probability afterwards. So this is the hardest question I've seen so far on Venn diagrams on a foundation tier paper. So pause the video, have a go, and then unpause when you're ready to see the solution. Here's the solution. So the first thing I did is put my six in the outside here. Six do not study either language. So there's 34 students in total. Take away these six. That leaves me with 28 students that study German and Spanish. So all of these numbers in here must total to 28. Now my 12 and 25 total to make 37. So the number that must go in the center, the number that is that overlap is 37 take away 28, that's nine. So nine goes in my overlap section. So 12 students study German, that means that the students that study only German must be 3. And 25 students study Spanish. So the number of students that study only Spanish must be 16. And I could just double check that all these numbers work with these conditions they've given me. And it does. They all add up to 34. And then I've got to make sure I answer the question. The question is, find the probability that a student picked at random studies both languages. So studying both languages is this 9 in the middle. So it's 9 out of the total, which is 34. Thank you for watching.